Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me today. I have a spare spot on my bedroom wall that I needed to fill with a piece of artwork. And I thought to myself, what am I going to get to put in this space on my wall? I've recently taken down a picture that I don't want anymore. Um, and I wanted something to put in its place. I thought, well, where can I go? What can I do? And then I thought, duh, create your own. So that's exactly what I've done. I've created this. So this is the finished piece, try not to get too much glare on it. This is the finished piece, already framed and ready to go back on my wall. And this is just a simple mixed media um, piece of watercolour cardstock um, that I created to hang in my bedroom. So I'll show you how I did it. So I'm starting off with a piece of 12 and a half by nine inch watercolor cardstock. This is just from Dela Rowney from a large pad that I've got. And all I'm doing is using Mod Podge. I'm just going to, this is the matte medium Mod Podge. Um, and I'm just going to adhere some torn strips or torn pieces of tissue paper from, uh, I think this is a Paper Mania one. It's not a Tim Holtz one. And I'm just going to randomly cover the entire piece of watercolor card with the tissue paper. So I'm just going to use a selection of blue gelatos from Faber-Castell onto the uh, piece of watercolour card now that it's completely dry. And I do apologise for the telephone being in the bottom left hand corner. I was waiting for a telephone call that came through just as I was recording this. So just for privacy, I've just covered over the person's name who called me. So then now that I've got all my gelatos down, I'm just going to activate them with a baby wipe and just go over and blend all of the colours together. I'm um, not being particularly too careful about making sure that there, there's clear divisions. I just want to blend all the colours onto the background just for a base colour. So now that I'm happy with the blue, I'm just going to bring up my heat gun and give it a bit of a dry before I add some more colour to it to make sure that it is going to stay where it is and not going to blend too much when I add another colour. So this time I'm using a purple coloured gelato and I'm just adding it to the top left and bottom right hand corner. I'm just going to blend that out with a baby wipe again. Now some of the colour did start to lift so I decided that I wasn't going to carry on with the gelatos. I'm just going to dry them off and then move on to something a bit more permanent. So this is a brand new stencil from Do Crafts Paper Mania. Now this is one of their first stencils that I've ever seen from them. And this is a 
a sticky backed one so I thought I'd give it a go just to see what it was like see whether I enjoyed working with it so I'm also going to bring out some of the vibrant turquoise dilutions there you go and I'm going to add that to through the stencil with a sponge So I'm going to remove the stencil now and as you can see it worked pretty well and so it's uh, in my mind it's a little bit too tacky um, I think this is more really for home decor projects you know, sticking on lampshades that kind of thing uh, not really meant for paper crafts so um, it does tear in a little while so I think I'm going to either try and remove all the stickiness and use it that way or I may just consign it to the waste paper bin as you can see one of the hexagons has already torn out from that top left hand corner that shouldn't be a hole that should actually have a full insert so a bit flimsy for what I want to use it for so that's it for the stencil I'm going to bring out the heat gun now and just give it a bit of a heat blast and make sure it's all nice and dry for when I move on to the next stage so the next colour is Bubblegum Pink from Dilutions again and this time I'm just going to apply that directly to my um, paper using a spatula. Now I'm going to scrape it on and scrape it back off again. Done. As easy as that. So next is the white linen acrylic paint and I'm just going to grab some tops and lids and I'm just going to add some marks using that white paint randomly around the page. And I'm just using a variety of sizes to vary the size of the circle that's on there. And then this is a piece of bubble wrap. Now I'm just going to add some bits of bubble wrap and I'm just going to add the paint onto the bubble wrap with the sponge and then transfer it directly just using my fingers. So next is the Lemon Zest acrylic paint and this is a square shape with rounded corners and so I'm just going to add those randomly across the page too. So I've now got circles and squares and this is where the inspiration took me for my quote for the piece because I wasn't quite sure where I was going with it up until this point. So I'm bringing out the black, black, black marble, black marble acrylic paint from Dilutions again and I'm just going to add some of that paint to my craft mat and then grab a piece of card just so I can add some um, long lines of the black paint around the actual frame and across the page to, to start bringing it all together. Because you can still see the black from the tissue paper coming through the paint, adding black in the foreground kind of brings it all together and kind of melds it so it just looks like it was meant to be. So I've put it to one side to start drying and then I've punched out a circle from some book text and cut out the same sized square from the book text and using my Dymo Letra Tag label maker I've just typed out and printed labels saying square peg and round hole but I'm putting those on the opposite one so I'm putting square peg on the circle and round hole on the square. 
But I've zoomed in a little bit for you so you can see how I'm positioning the pieces. I'm just moving them around the canvas just to see where it looks best in my mind. And that's exactly where I'm going to stick them. So I'm just going to use the Ranger collage glue stick and add those to the watercolour card. So just to finish off, I'm bringing out the food ball pen and I'm just going to go around the square and around the circle with some scribbly lines just to bring those into line with the rest of the page. And just to finish off, I'm bringing out that white linen paint again, and I'm just going to add some water to it using my fan brush or a spritzer. And then the fan brush, I'm just going to add some um, white splatters. And I'm just going to do this in two different ways. I'm going to get some fine splatters, and then I'm going to get some real big ones going too. So all that's left for me to do now is to trim it off and remove any of the excess tissue paper from around the sides. And I'm going to do it from the front, then turn it over and then remove the rest from the back because it does curl over when you use the Mod Podge uh, and it does tend to wrap itself around the, the paper. And then the final thing is just to sign and date it and then I'm going to call it done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me and they will also recommend my channel to other people who may not have yet found me. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, why not do it now by clicking the button at the end of the video and I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.